I'm Horny Ramen, and welcome to my kitchen. Together, we're gonna look at all things ramen, some things not ramen, and pretty much anything I love to eat. Today, we're gonna make osobuco, and the recipe is gonna come from Ferran Adria's The Family Meal. This is an amazing book. It's got 31 complete three-course meals. The recipes are broken up into portions for two people, six people, 20 people, and 75 people, depending on how many you're cooking for. The osobuco is one of my favorites. I add potatoes just because. Let's, uh, let's cook it up. Let's go through the ingredients. One teaspoon of chopped carrots, one teaspoon of chopped celery, one chopped onion, one chopped garlic clove, two veal shanks, but I'm using beef shanks because that's what they had at the store, a tablespoon and a half of flour, a tablespoon and a half of butter, but I use a lot more, a third of a cup of white wine, two dried bay leaves, two teaspoons of tomato sauce, and two and a quarter cups of beef stock. Not in the recipe, I add two potatoes. For the gremolata at the end, two teaspoons of finely chopped fresh parsley, one finely chopped garlic clove, one lemon, and one orange. We'll start by chopping up the carrot into quarter inch pieces. Then we'll do the same thing to the celery. And now we'll peel and chop the onion. While we're prepping our ingredients, we'll preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And crush some one clove of garlic. A good mise en place is super important when you're using a lot of ingredients. Next, we'll season and flour both sides of the meat. And then we'll take some of the parsley and chop it up for the gremolata. Now we'll combine the ingredients for the gremolata. It's one chopped up clove of garlic, two teaspoons of the parsley that we chopped, lemon zest, and orange zest. This is a great topping for any grilled or roasted meat dish. Now we'll heat up some butter so we can brown the beef shank. It shouldn't take very long, but in the recipe that they give you in the book, they say that you don't need that much butter. I find it takes quite a bit more to brown it up. Usually by the time one side is done, it's time to add more butter. So here's some more butter. And we'll do the exact same thing to the other shank. Now we'll clear up the mess from cooking the meat, put in some more butter and start cooking the veggies. The carrots will always go in first because they take the longest to cook. We'll saute those for about a minute and then add the rest of the ingredients. Next, we'll add the onion, celery, and garlic and cook them for the next 10 minutes. Once your veggies have softened up, then it's time to add the wine. If you don't have white, red works just as well. Keep cooking until most of the wine has evaporated and then add your tomato sauce and bay leaves. We'll continue cooking this down for another 10 minutes and then move everything into the oven. Now we'll put the browned meat into a roasting pan, spoon over the vegetables, and then pour in our beef stock. Cover the pan with foil and cook for the next two hours.
This next step isn't in the recipe, but I like to cube up two potatoes and throw them in the roasting dish for the last hour of the bake. With a two hour cook time, it's a good spot to clean up your kitchen and get ready to serve. And after two hours, that's what we're looking at. Mm, mm, mm. Now you can sprinkle some of the gremolata that you prepared around the bowl, on the food. It is a great complement to the osabuco dish. I hope you've enjoyed today's not so ramen recipe. If you like what you saw, click like, and if you want to see more, click subscribe. We'll see you next time. Ha <laughs> ha.